All right, and welcome. So today we're going to be looking at ARP spoofing. So if we go ahead and we type in editor, or for editor cap, graphical cap, I'm going to type in our password here. We see that our primary interface is going to be Ethernet 0. That's what the interface is like right now. We're not going to do bridge sniffing or anything like that. We're just going to say OK. Accept that. Should be seeing a lot of stuff coming through. If we go ahead and we scan for host. And then we have our host list over here. So let's go ahead and let's look at who we're going to be tacking, which is on this Windows machine over here. If we go to command prompt, and we do an IP config, we see that we're going to be tacking dot .50. So let's go ahead and tack that person. So this guy right here, we're going to add him as target 1. And then we know that either... 0 0.1 or 0 0.253 is going to be our um, default router, right? That's usually how it's laid out, depending on if it's what slash it is, slash 24 or slash 25. So we'll go ahead and we'll add target number 2, our default router. Now that we have those two, we can go ahead and we can start our ARP spoofing. So man in the middle, ARP poisoning, stiff remote connections, okay? And we'll go ahead and we'll leave it like that for now. Let's go ahead and head back over to our Windows machine. And let's just look for a quick HTTP login site. So we can go to this test.php.baldweb.com site. We do an admin, admin, go to login. And let's see if we get anything back over here. And we do, and we get a get login and a post user info.php. All right, let's go ahead and try to look through this guy and see if we can't find anything because we did our R spoofing, and there it is. There's our username, admin, and a password of admin. That is ARP spoofing, and if someone goes to an insecure area, or they try to tell them that, or anything that doesn't use SSL, TLS, SSH, anything like that, it will drop it in clear text, which then we can then see through our Wireshark document.